So for this part of the tutorial, we'll basically be looking at taking our Shopify store live. Now, for this case, we're basically finished with everything that we were supposed to do for our online store. That's creating the components that make up the online store. These include adding things like your products, um, creating collections, adding pages, adding legally uh, legal policies and pages as well, fixing your shipping, shipping and delivery, and everything else in between. This also includes you customizing your theme and basically creating how your online store actually looks like and you purchasing things like your domain name, the plan, and also probably uh, finishing everything that you were supposed to do. Now, we want to take the store live, basically making it accessible to anyone that wants to visit us using our link, of course, or our domain name. So if we want to take this live, the first thing that we want to do is, again, we are on the main menu section of our Shopify backend. We want to click on online store and then get to this drop down menu and come all the way down to preferences. And then we want to click on preferences. So when we are on preferences, this is the first thing that we're going to get. You're going to realize first that your online store is password protected. That means that your, if anyone visits your link or the domain name that you purchased, it means that when they visit your store, your store is going to require a password for them to be able to see everything. Now, in order for the store to be live, it doesn't have to have this password. As you can see, we already have remove password. You can click that, but there's a few things that you want to do first before you do that. The first one being the homepage title. Now, this is what appears when you are sharing your link on platforms such as WhatsApp or Twitter or Facebook, where it shows the title of the home page and the name of your store, and then it shows the description of your store, basically what you're selling, who you are, and what you're actually selling. And then underneath that, you'll see that you're supposed to put in a logo. So let's start with the home page uh, uh, title. So this is definitely the home page, and then we want to have this little line thing here, and then we want to uh, give the store name we want to write the store name um over here with in this case it's urban uh, thriller so after writing the store name we want to write we want to give the store an actual description here's our description and then when you scroll down guys you'll see also that you need to add your logo on here again this is what is going to appear when people are sharing your link or when you're sharing your link you want to a logo to appear and then it's going to write the meta description of your home page and then it's going to show home page and it's basically going to show your store name as well and then what you want to do is go all the way down click um this uh, uh check or untick this check button thing here and then click on save and then voila your store is now open to everyone, as you can see there. That's basically it when you want to take your Shopify store online.